Howdy, Matthew Pisgatti here, still talking about the drip garden. Had a quick little tip, just because I see a number of people not quite complaining, but just a little over-exaggerating on the rate of compounding, you know, that, that, that there is so many times a day that they could be compounding, and, uh, you know, the kind of the inconvenience of that, and remembering when to get it done. Now, we've already talked about this uh, dripviewer.com, I believe. Uh, dripviewer.com is really neat, mainly because of this reminder, this Telegram reminder. You just put in your wallet address and sign up for this. Um, I don't remember if that worked for me exactly. I think after I registered, I, I actually ended up finding the the Telegram chat directly of the bot, like the little group. I, I may have had to search for it, but go ahead and try through this portal. Uh, if you can get registered, this interval you can actually change from within the Telegram uh, bot or, or group, however you want to phrase that. So if you start getting too many because your compounding has taken over, here's hoping that that happens sooner rather than later and you're, you're making this many plants a day to where it's a problem. Um, but you can always increase this to every two or four plants. Um, I have it on every one plant right now still. I'm only making about eight or nine a day, so that works for me. But yeah, if you go ahead and, and get this going, dripviewer.com, sign up for that. I don't use as many of the stats down here, although it is interesting. Uh, you know, it's a nice little UI. And as I've mentioned in a previous video, they have a great roadmap. I'd love to see what they keep doing. Um, if I have some free funds, I'll probably throw them a, a buck or two because I really like all this uh, future planning here. Uh, it's great to have things developing around the drip garden, the drip uh, ecosystem. That makes everyone a little more bullish on it. You know, these there are more people putting work in, um, more people with incentive to compound and and uh, play all the games re responsibly and keep it going um, we've had some really responsible whales as as well like stun a breezy really doing a good job of just you know claiming uh, not constantly and and kind of maxing out his wallet and then and then bowing out I don't know if he's starting another wallet or not but uh, going off on a rant there but we have a lot of good uh, people who are bullish on the system and playing the games correctly and, and responsibly which is really cool but I think that uh, Forex has still built a lot into the systems for sustainability, even for those times that a lot more people are are claiming more often than perhaps is is smart. So yeah, use Drip Viewer, sign up for that, uh, get those those reminders. I just got one a few minutes ago, so I was about to pop over here and and compound. Um, something else to mention is that on both of these here, so this is the Drip Garden Scheduler and the uh, drip.formulate.finance slash garden. On both of these, you'll see similar rates. On this one, it's a seed amount. Seeds lost if planted now. And then over here, I'm going to see on the formulate finance page, I'll see value lost on compound. It's in a dollar amount. So that means about 31 cents of seeds I'm losing. Now, obviously, if you're, if you're most of the way to another plant, you probably don't want to lose whatever that rate is at that time, and you'll wait until the next plant, and you'll compound then. Um, you know, for me, if I've just caught it a few minutes after, and it's, I don't know, 5, 10, 20, 30 cents, whatever it is, um, I'll usually go ahead and, and, and compound, go ahead, because you're not, you're not losing too much. Um, but that's up to you. That's part of the strategy when you want to compound and when you want to just let it roll to the next. And if you're making a lot of plants constantly, you may want to let it roll. You may want to wait. So... That is perfectly valid as well. It's all up to you, kind of personal strategy. They're adapted to four plants. I know you cannot see my MetaMask pop up. I'm only sharing this window. Went ahead and compounded. And let's see, we were at 34.49 and 1.044. So instead of 1.044, I've now rolled up to 1.060. LP, and that's really what I'm concerned with. This is increasing. My daily LP is increasing, and you know we'll watch it tomorrow since this one's kind of late, but it should still be uh, increasing from this point. I'm now making 8.667 plants, so that's awesome. This is at 33. Yep, and then over here we should see some similar stats, although you usually have to refresh on this page. Yeah, now it's 2 hours and 45 minutes. You'll see this speed up with every compound, of course, and that just gets uh, faster and faster. I mean, 
this is a really good viewer as well with the last harvest amount and the uh, lost value. I, I like that uh, to put that into into dollar amounts. But it, again, I, I do kind of I almost prefer the one in seeds because at a glance I just look at the seeds on the scheduler and I say, you know, oh how, seeds lost is that anywhere near this two million five ninety ninety two thousand? If it's if it's not anywhere near a plant, I don't care. I just kind of move on. Um, yeah, here's your total time to build a plant if you can't suss it out from this number. This is a pretty cool, cool viewer though. I, I, I like it. Um, but yeah, overall, so getting back to the topic at hand, I've just seen some mention of that, of how often they're, they're having to compound. So I'll keep coming back to this concept. As long as this is, I guess, steady, but really as long as it's steady or going up, uh, both of those are, are good. You know, we want to see it increase over time steadily. That's what we're, we're shooting for. Um, so if, if that's happening, you may not have to be compounding as often. I mean, I, I think more is always going to be faster. It's always going to be better, but it does cost gas as we keep uh, reiterating. And so you just have to, you know, play, play the game, play the game and try to find a strategy that works for you. But if that LP is going up, then I think we're, we're on the right track. And uh, as we've just been covering with what Forex said on that AMA, uh, we're trying to outpace or, or do at least on par with the ratio that most people are on average compounding. And like I mentioned, if you're new into the, I've already mentioned in the other videos, if you're new to the garden, if you haven't been in it very long, or you have a very small amount of plants, like how I started out with maybe 14, 15 or so, you're going to see a slower rate of growth at that time. And even with your compounding, it may take a moment to, to, to kind of build up. And I, I just, I don't know the full mechanics in the code, and I don't think any of us do. Um, we do know that it's based on that average of how other people are compounding, but we can't know every single mechanic Forex is built in and slapped in there. So um, I think most of us, uh, if you've been watching my content, you're on, you're on the right track. You know to just keep compounding and uh, see where we get to. In just a few short, hopefully short months, I think we'll see that LP value come up and we will see where we land. Most of these videos have been tips and, and tricks and whatnot. Um, you know, but as I'm, as I'm watching these, this, this LP grow, you know, I might give it a few more days or, or maybe a week if I can, can hold back the, the excitement. But I'm not one to just shill any of these random projects if it doesn't look like they're doing a good job. But the way I've seen this increasing, the confidence I'm, I'm gaining just by following this basic strategy, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to become more of, of one of those people who is actively promoting this as a, uh, as a viable thing. I mean, obviously, we can't predict longevity. We really can't. We can look at the mechanics that are built into the game, and we can try to um, really just, just calculate that. You know, we use some of these, these estimators like the one I've created. I don't have that up in a, in a tab. We, could, we can use things like that to see where we'll be in 100 days, 200 days. But I, just, I don't think we can guarantee. I don't think we know enough. I mean, none of us have these magical crystal balls. I mean, we're shaking our eight balls. We don't, we don't know. But just seeing from anecdotal personal evidence, personal experience here since I started, and it's not just the boost from reviews, like our referrals. I know I got a few of those. Um, earlier on that were pretty big boost, but within the last week or so, I, I don't think I really have had much kicked up that way, and I'm still seeing this LP increase. So I, I still think there's, there's hope. It's a slow, steady increase, but I just think we'll see it explode when this goes up, and we're really thinking this is going to go up after the, the piggy bank launch and everything. So I'm still going to keep plugging along. Uh, but that was my quick update on on a little bit of a strategy. I would just I would schedule this for this reminder for yourself, so you don't have to constantly monitor it. You don't want to anyway. And then on top of that, um, if you're using this one, you can see how many into the future. So, I mean, if you wanted to, if it's working for you, if your LP is increasing, just pick four out, pick five out, and say, okay, I'm gonna pop back at 11:15 tomorrow and and, and compound. And that's it. And then you move on. And you set an alarm for that on your phone or what have you, and you don't lose a bunch of extra seeds. And as long as you're increasing every day or around about the same, I would just would keep trucking that that way. You don't have to stress about it. That That's really the whole point of this video. You don't have to stress. Just 
compound when you get to it and make sure you're still growing slowly. And other than that, just set it and forget it. I mean, it is a little game. We're playing a game. That's why they call it that. Um, and you're essentially making free money. I mean, once if, if the longevity holds, uh, you know, if, if it's been coded correctly, if we have that at least enough faith in it to, we put, we had enough faith to put money in it. Right. I mean, hopefully you didn't put more than you, you, uh, could afford to lose, but we had enough faith to invest in it. So let's not worry and, and gripe and whine and like, and cry about the, the price dropping. I mean, if, if, if the price is dropping for you and you're steadily compounding, I, I do have to admit that I, I really don't know what the difference is. If you're, if you're early in the garden, like I said, I would give it a month. I would give it two months. Or if you've been harvesting quite a bit recently before this dip, um, try compounding for a longer period of time and just play around with that strategy. I, don't, I can't guarantee be, you the, the perfect strategy because I haven't been harvesting at all. And I'm going to wait until this hits like maybe 50 to 100 a day. And then I'm going to try some experiments with harvesting maybe earlier if I get a, a little antsy, but I wanted to build it up more first. And I just, I don't know. I, I still, I'm still bullish on it, but I still am going to reiterate every, every video as well that this could just drop. You know, it, there could be something we don't foresee and there's always that high risk and it may do nothing, but I'm confident in it at the moment and I'm going to keep compounding. It doesn't cost anything except my gas fees, which really aren't that much. I mean, I'll, I'll gladly pay that at the rate it's at right now to keep compounding and, and get to a point uh, where where we're getting that you know that weekend payout of that couple hundred bucks a weekend or a uh, thousand bucks a weekend when we get to that point. I, I am hoping it lasts that long. I'm pretty excited for that as well as the other pieces of the uh, drip ecosystem. So that's all why I'm going to keep compounding and I just think we need to relax a little bit and play the game. Let's not get too worked up about it. If my cat would get off my screen, I could see where the stop recording button is. There it is. All right. Well, you guys have a, have a great one. Thanks for watching. That was just like a quick tip video regarding the viewers. Good night.